How's the hair look? Is it okay? <laughs> okay. Yeah, putting on Academy for the first time takes a lot of, of, of behind the scenes and preparatory work. It starts with uh, laying down the groundwork of can we do this? We all know what's going on in, in the nation right now as we try to train new officers for that next generation. It's getting harder and harder and harder to recruit. An academy inside the police department allows us to take more control of the timeline, the officers we can put into it, and the training we provide them. Everyone knows how to drive, but not everyone knows how to push that vehicle to the limit. So they will go through EVOC training, which is Emergency Vehicle Operation Course, and they will learn how, just, just what exactly that vehicle is capable of. You know, we want officers to go out there every day, we want them to come back safe. So as they approach residences, they approach rooms, to teach people how to go through those so you're not just walking into a dangerous situation. Great instructors overall, very knowledgeable. Uh, they're all great and they all know their material. And I know they're doing their best to, uh, to train us and get us prepared to hit the streets. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of things that the, our instructors showed us. Being mindful of your placement. They walk up to that car, they walk up to the unknown of what's inside of that car. We try to teach that, that seven step basic approach as they walk through they get out of their car, they call it out, they give the information, they touch the back of the car, they go up there and they stay out of that fatal funnel. You know, if you if you ask me which is the most important training scenario that cadets go through, I, I don't know if I could pick one because the modern police officer is tasked with so many things. It is a lot of information to learn, but very important information. I, I want to be exactly like my uh, instructors. Uh, I want to be in their place someday. When I look back at the guys that are in the academy now, I look at their journey. For instance, we have a gentleman in the, in the academy now that started with us as an explorer. So I started when I was 16. As an explorer, we, we kind of practiced on some of the scenarios, but once we got to the academy, it was like, hey, this is real now. We're actually going to do what I've been training to do for a while. Uh, when, you, when you look at guys like that and their journey throughout the process, it, it, there's a lot of pride in that. It's been fun watching both the instructors and the students as they, they see the light at the end of the tunnel and they realize it's not a train. Uh, you, you know, we tell them day one, this is going to be one of the best things that you do and you're going to remember these group of friends. Uh, my classmates, they were, they were all great people. And we all have the same common goal of becoming police officers and serving our community. And we all made it through and, and now we get to call ourselves police officers.